Diane Ox Kipaji. Hello and welcome. So today I promised I would do it and I am uh, food and drink or as it's called Max Ox Tule. Food and drinks. All right, so and I should tell you that I'm not going to do like a full out all the food word vocabulary. Oh no. <laughs> no, that would take quite a while. No, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss hypothetical foods that they might eat in Gerudo Valley. Not Gerudo Town because Gerudo Town, there's a lot more available. Remember, we're talking about Gerudo Valley. And this language also is based on that, the Gerudo Valley dialect, what they spoke 10,000 years before Breath of the Wild. All right, so with that cleared up, and remember, these are hypothetical. But I will talk about maybe other foods, just, just throw it in there but not the whole word list, goodness, no. <laughs> All right, so to begin with, uh, paramaxed, paramaxed is to prepare food, uh, to cook, whereas bruchak is to bake, like you bake bread. And another word is uh, goro paramax, goro paramag, which means to grill, to cook, prepare food by fire, goro, fire. And uh, filan is to boil, like if you boil things. And lob paramag is, is to deep fry, to fry something like, like kakodo, chicken. And sket is to eat, sket, eat. And to drink is lir, 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 to drink. All right, so moving on. So we're going to go to the hypothetical stuff. So aichi is definitely a food. Aichi is bread. And it can be made with farin or flour and aichulo, yeast, it could be, but then there are times it could made, be made with dried and ground up, you know, powdered and, you know, boditot, powdered uh, cartate, potatoes, cartate, potatoes. And sometimes potato bread, you know, it's, it's a potato bread, so. And gado aichi, gado aichi is a flat bread and literally translates to paper bread because it's thin like, like paper, gado aichi. And while not common, it can be found egg, egg, an egg. It's exactly how it sounds except spelled a little differently. E with a accent. Accent aigu, I think it's called in French. Anyway, and as a sweetener, they would use huning, huning, or, or honey. Here, let me grab my trusty book. Yeah, they would use huning as a sweetener. Winning. And and that's because it's more likely that you're going to be able to get honey from bees. So, and that's used as a sweetener. And as I mentioned, kakoto, kakoto, 
it's, it's chicken. Now, cuckoo is chicken as in the live animal, but cuckoo do is chicken meat. Where in some languages, you know, especially French, it's a chicken is poulet and the chicken itself is also poulet. So that is a cuckoo do. Cuckoo do. Cuckoo do. And coude is also, coude is a little more common. Cuckoo dough, not so much because there isn't, you know, it's like the eggs, not too much, you know, because there's not much really there. But coude or nuts is, it's, it's more common to find them. So, you know, you got coude right here. Coude. Or coude is the plural. And you also can find all sorts of different types of numage. Numage. Beans. Whether they be casa numage, you know, black beans, red beans. It's a lot of easy, it's easier to find them there. And also what can be found is a dokiki numag. Dokiki numag, which is a chickpea, a garbanzo bean, and it translates to heart bean. And now it's not because it's the shape of a heart, you know, like I love you. No, it's because it looks like an actual heart, you know, because the Gerudo don't consider this symbol you know, as, as heart, or they don't use that. When they talk about heart, the doki ki, they're talking about the actual body part, not, you know, that's, that's another, that's another lesson. So, and the doki ki numag, like I said, it's a chickpea garbanzo bean, and it looks like a heart, actual Other things that they might eat would be uh, badra, various sorts of badra, yeah, badra for the plural, seeds. And seeds like, you know, kud badra or sesame seeds, but also seeds that are similar to quinoa, those kind of seeds. So quite possibly quinoa. No real word for that, but I mean, I suppose if there was a word for it, it would be sand seeds, because they look like little grains of sand. They would be called me badrae, me badrae, sand seeds, because quinoa would be, it looks like little grains of sand, so. And they would have access to labd, labd, or, or milk. Now, and that milk is actually taken from the bovi, or cow, that is, that's located in the ravine underneath the bridge between Hyrule and Gerudo Valley, so. That's, that's where the milk would come from. And with, with that milk, filant lab is made with it. Filant lab, uh, yogurt. Now, a note about labt and filan, filant lab is that it's not so much consumed as we might consume it, like glass of milk, bowl of yogurt, you know, for breakfast, but not really. That stuff is actually used because it's so rare. It is used, but it's used for cooking and cooking for the whole fortress. So like filan lab would be used when making gado aichi, but a special kind of gado aichi, which is to say like, you know, crushed foreign garlic 
and sort of a, a non bread. So Godot Aichi, but with foreign on top, make it like a non bread. But that's use yogurt for that. Regular uh, Godot Aichi doesn't use yogurt. So. Now, kartata, kartata, potato. You may find potatoes there, nice little root vegetable. And another one is uh, dakrota. Be in this one. Dakrota, dakrota is a carrot. Dakrota. And uh, capsi, capsi, it, it's a pepper, and and it's not like the pepper that you know you put on your food. I mean, it can be, but it's not the black pepper. It's not the pepper seeds, you know, not the black pepper. No, it's uh, it's it's more like a jalapeno, a habanero, the the spicy peppers. And if you dry them and, you know, powder them, they can serve as great namupa, great spice, you know, use a little spice. And that's from Se Chakt Capsie, dried peppers. And like I said, crush them up and spice. Now, zatun, zatun is, it's an olive, so... You can probably find those. And as I said, uh, foreign, garlic, uh, seppa, an onion. An onion's a seppa. So, here, let's have a little fun. <laughs> I did promise pictures, so. Excuse me. Okay, so if you want, we can review in pictures. So this here would be Aichi. And as you know, that is Kakodo. Farine, farine, exact same as in French. And la viande, oh, excuse me. Oh my god. No, um, meat is horagido. Horagido. It's, it's a general kind of meat, so. And, uh, filant lab, right there. The yogurt. And let's see. Ah, and then, of course, our, our, uh, Dakrota, Dakrota, and yes, there is a word for pumpkin, and it's uh, labu, not really that common, but labu, and then sepa, sepa, is uh, yeah, sepa, onions, Let's see, and one more th thing, they would, you know, like uh, probably one of the only fruits you can find is uh, maldoja, maldoja, apricots, maldoja, apricots, see any, and uh, egg. All right. Now, and if alcohol is consumed, it's called belke, belke, and uh, a very popular one. And again, if it is consumed, because it's pretty rare, is tulbuju, tulbuju, wine. And that is a favorite. <laughs> you know. Uh, Now, and, and this was 
just basically just some examples. I mean, not all of it, but some good examples. And if there were desperate times, well, all right, in desperate times, <laughs> I hypothesize that mekakwersh, mekakwersh, not the best source of protein. And mekakwersh is a sand crawler, or as you might recognize them, levers. Gross. <laughs> but desperate times, you know, and I'm sure there have been those times. Another thing was a kata, a kata, a lizard. And, you know, I mean, they probably would taste better than a mekakwersh, more like chicken, dopenli uh, kakodo, but, you know, a kata do. It's not the same as kakodo. And navamache. Navamache. Entrails. Not sure which animal, but it can vary. But it's definitely not the cow. They, they take extra steps to make sure they don't sacrifice that cow. Because that cow... That's the golden goose. It gives you the dairy products. And but then there's also the option of hisky. Hisky. Hungry. Just going hungry. And as far as drink goes, asishi, water, and ivo, tea. Ivo, tea. And some examples of mealtime in Gerudo Valley. Now, and these are just, just a few. I mean, they can get pretty creative with a lot of their cooking. But this is just basic examples. So, for muske, muske, or breakfast, it's aichi, bread, kude, nuts, assortment of nuts, and maldohai, apricots. Simple breakfast. And if you don't want the aichi, you don't have to have the aichi. But it's full of protein and uh, some good vitamins. The aichi is just for energy, extra starch, but not particularly necessary if you don't want it. Now, for banke, banke, or lunch, Things like gado aichi and a paste, or glist, made of crushed dokiki numage, foren, and a bit of loben made from zatun, oil made from olives. And you got yourself dokiki numag glist, garbanzo bean paste. And on the side, you'd probably have dakrote, Daha capsie, and they'd be sliced up like, like little batons. And it's a light but filling lunch. Yeah, and that's banke. Now, in neke, or dinner, it's a little bit heavier. Like, kako dough might be used, but it's more likely, if not a special occasion, then maybe once a week kind of thing. Like I said, not many chickens running around. <laughs> or cuckoos, as they might be called. Hence why they're called cuckoo. It's from cuckoo. So, but in its place, also high in protein, would be numag. You know, like, like numage, beans. And nakishi. So, like, make a bean soup. A numag nakishi, numag nakishi, a bean soup, and some aichi on the side if you fancy. And it, it would fill you right up, you know, help you go to sleep, you know, with all the you know, full stomach, sleep, you sleep better. And anyway, those were just some examples. And there are some occasional interactions with Hyrule, it's not impossible. 
and because of that, there's a lot more food items in the vocabulary. Yeah, just because it's eaten very rarely or whatnot, it's doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I mean, like for example, apple, apple is an apple. You know, it's it's in there. It exists, but even though it's not eaten all the time, if at all, so. And of course, you can check out the online dictionary for a full. <laughs> Hello, Maddie, dear. I'm sorry about that. I do love my cat, though. She's she's a really good girl. And I do I love her to pieces. So anyway, so yeah, look through the dictionary and a lot more food items. Of, yeah. So, and for all you Pirate Gerudo fans, if you're curious about what your favorite group would eat, well, let's just say there is definitely a lot more available to them. And one of them is Essie Time. Essie Time. Fish. So they eat a lot of that. But before then, a popular food was Goro Paramaxed Saint Ives. Goro Paramaxed Saint Ives. Grilled seagulls. And, you know, like I said, most, it was popular, but then fishing techniques and taste buds improved, so they decided to just go with the fish, leave the seagulls alone. And now with easier access to other regions of Termina, they are able to get almost anything if they want it. Gubeae, gubeae, or mushrooms in the southern swamp. And kakodo and lapt in Clock Town, or they can go to Romani Ranch or Romani Yamazbar. Romani Yamazbar. Romani's farm and they can get stuff you know fruits like casarasvie raspberries or sweet potato you know sweet potatoes daha cartate cartate and daha copsie daha copsie sweet peppers and stuff like that would be grown on various lac nue or islands in Great Bay so that a lot more available to them. All right, so uh, if you um, if you feel like there's something I missed, let me know. You know, and also if there's anything you want me to talk about, uh, yeah, let me know. I I'll talk about it, no problem. And um, you know, and like I said, if you have questions and stuff, yeah. All right, so. I guess that's it for that. So remember, past zetze ho zaimaf kunde bi yas ax ar inha bi promen no bi no ma bi ashkia. Or in pirate dialect, it would be bi yas past zetze ho zaimaf kunde ax no ma bi ashkia bi promen ar pinha. Wash your hands for 20 seconds and if if you can, stay home. All right, I guess that's about it. And uh, thank you, Madrin Cereza, <laughs> for making a guest appearance. By the way, the word for uh, cherry is madrin, madrin. So, okay. All right, well, that that's it. Da kis ox da lelu. And Takis Aks Dalailu. Bye guys.